Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Protesters just tried to dig up Confederate General's grave, then got hit with ultimate karma. A group of protesters has now dug up the body of Ku Klux Klan leader and Confederate General, Nathan Forrest, from his grave. The group took a shovel to the burial site of Nathan Bedford Forrest. Here is the shocking video below. Update, this article originated in 2015 and was mistakenly reported as originating in 2017. We apologize for the wrong information and strive for the utmost in honesty and accuracy. He was the KKK's first Grand Wizard and died in 1877 and his body was moved to a public park in Memphis, Tennessee after it was exhumed from the Nathan Bedford Forest. He was a lieutenant general in the Confederate States Army. These Marxists want the statue of the soldier on the horse to be removed as well. The Memphis City Council has been already approved the digging up of the body, according to Daily Mail. A recent Tennessee law that prevents memorials to historical figures from the Civil War from being removed. This is the only thing stopping Marxists from completely erasing the history of the Democratic Party. According to NPR, officials at the state capitol are thinking about throwing out a bus General Forrest. Share this if you think that Trump was right. These people are never going to stop. First, it's going to be Confederate War memorials. Then, it's going to be George Washington and other parts of history. We need to stop this here. The liberal left is trying to erase American history so that they can repeat it. The Democrats are just mad that Trump is kicking out their new slaves, illegal immigrants, out of the country. Republicans are going to have to save this country again. The shocking thing Julian Assange just gave to Trump will bring down the Democratic Party. Julian Assange told a U.S. congressman on Tuesday that he can prove that the Democratic Party documents. He said that he can prove that the Democratic Party is lying about Russia. Our three-hour meeting covered a wide array of issues, including the WikiLeaks exposure of the Democratic National Committee, emails during last year's presidential election, Rara Bacher said. Julian emphatically stated that the Russians were not involved in the hacking or disclosure of those emails. Julian also indicated that he is open to further discussions regarding specific information about the DNC email incident that is currently unknown to the public, he added. U.S. intelligence said that it has solid proof that Russia was behind the election hacks last year that embarrassed Hillary Clinton and John Podesta. Assange says that that is a lie. It says that Russia wasn't the source of the leaked information. Yesterday was the first time that he had talked with a U.S. lawmaker. Rara Bacher said that he has information that he is carrying back to Trump when he returned to the U.S. This included a request that WikiLeaks be given a new seat inside the White House press room. Julian passionately argued the case that WikiLeaks was vital to informing the public about controversial though necessary issues. He hoped that WikiLeaks an award-winning journalistic operation, might be granted a seat in the White House press corps. As a former newsman myself I can't see a reason why they shouldn't be granted news status for official press conferences, he said. Share this if you want Trump to start acting, y'all. It's time to drain that damn swamp and get rid of these loser politicians that do nothing but blow hot air in Washington. Let's expose the media for the lie they have been telling for a complete year. Turn off CNN The sick thing Blitzer just said about Barcelona terror proves Trump was totally right. CNN host Wolf Blitzer upped the crazy to a whole new level on Thursday after the suspected jihadist attacks on Barcelona that left 13 dead and more than 50 injured. The attackers used a car to plow into a crowd of pedestrians at the popular tourist area Las Ramblas. This is a sick tactic that terrorists have used in Europe multiple times an attack in Nice. France that killed 84 people, 
and another in London that killed four, being just two examples. Those facts seem to have escaped Wolf Blitzer, however, who, along with CNN national security correspondent Jim C. Otto, pondered whether or not the Barcelona attack was a copycat of Charlottesville. The violent rally in Charlottesville ended with a man plowing his car into a crowd of protesters, killing one woman. Soto said, in light of the uproar of the last several days, five days apart you have a white supremacist in Charlottesville use a vehicle to kill, and here you have attackers at least following the modus operandi of terrorists using vehicles apparently to kill as well, and those shared tactics that should be alarming. Blitzer replied, there will be questions about copycats. There will be questions if what happened in Barcelona was at all a copycat version of what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. Even though there may be different characters, different political ambitions, they use the same killing device, a vehicle going at high speed into a group, a large group of pedestrians. This is media bias at its most sick. I don't know how CNN's national security advisor came to the conclusion that the Barcelona attack is a copycat of Charlottesville, when vehicles have been used in Islamic extremist attacks multiple times over the past year alone. These people will do anything to further their own agenda and have completely frittered away any semblance of journalistic integrity. This latest commentary was so egregious I don't know how anyone can continue watching Wolf Blitzer or CNN. Share so everyone gets the message turn them off. H.T. Washington Free Beacon Their back North Korea releases new sick plan to destroy America. North Korea has again shown who they truly are in their latest propaganda posters. They show their country bombing the USA as their answer to UN sanctions against the country. The posters see Pyongyang destroying the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. with the quoter answer. In the other propaganda poster, dozens of bombs fall over a burning map of the U.S., also saying that the entire U.S. is within the range of their missiles. The three posters were made by Pyongyang mouthpiece Korean Central News Agency. Many military officers have said it's horrific. But it is unimaginable that the U.S. would allow dictator Kim Jong-un to develop missiles that could reach American soil. North Korea has claimed to have developed intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of targeting any place in the United States. But weapons experts believe they still need to create a nuclear device small and light enough to fit on the missile without affecting its range but to do that, they must make a sixth test of the long-range missile. These posters are the latest escalating threats of a nuclear war by North Korea. North Korea seems to be bipolar but President Trump's tough stance has made Kim Jong-un think twice about making any more threats to the U.S. Let us know what you think and share this report 10,000 times. Source, Daily Mail Right after the senator called for Trump assassination, she got hit with a huge dose of karma. Democratic Missouri State Senator Maria Chappelle Nadal said she hoped President Trump would be assassinated in a Facebook comment on Thursday. Chappelle Nadal admitted to posting the comment in an interview with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, but added, I didn't mean what I put up. Absolutely not. I was very frustrated. Things have got to change. Fellow Democrats were not sympathetic and called for her resignation. U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill said, I condemn it. It's outrageous. And she should resign. U.S. Representative William Lacey Clay said, See alling for the assassination of the president is a federal crime. She is, an embarrassment to our state. She should resign immediately. Missouri Democratic Party Chair Stephen Weber said, the DOT party will absolutely not tolerate calls for the assassination of the president. I believe she should resign. Missouri Senate Democratic Caucus leader Senator Gina Walsh said, she, should be ashamed of herself for adding her voice to this toxic environment. You know it's bad when even the Democrats are saying you took it too far. Despite her colleagues urging her to resign, Chappelle Nadal said, I am not resigning. What I said was wrong, 
but I am not going to stop talking about what led to that, which is the frustration and anger that many people across America are feeling right now. Christina Schmidt, the special agent in charge of the Secret Service's St. Louis office said that the service is looking into this. This is the state of politics that we're in right now, folks, where elected officials are now publicly hoping for the president to be assassinated. It's getting real ugly out there. We know the MSM isn't going to advertise this story, so that's why we're asking you to share share share. HD St. Louis Post Dispatch Moments after terrorist attack in Spain, Trump announced something incredible. Moments after terrorist attack in Spain, Trump announced something incredible. President Trump is now monitoring what police are calling a terror attack in Barcelona. A white van rammed into a dozen people in a popular tourist district in Barcelona. Watch the graphic video below of the aftermath. Police have now confirmed that there are multiple fatalities and numerous injuries. Chief of Staff John Kelly is aware of the situation and keeping the president abreast, says a White House official via Fox News. The State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauer tweeted that the department is closely monitoring events in Barcelona. There are at least 13 dead so far. Investigators have now named a suspect in the case. His name is Dres Ukabar. It is not clear if he is the man that authorities arrested so far. I can't wait to see how the left spins that statement. Share this to help set the narrative. We have an amazing and strong president and we need to come together with our brothers and sisters in Europe to stop terrorism in any form that it takes. Right after calling for sick attack on Trump, this Democratic senator got handed the worst news of her life. President Trump has got a long way to go before the swamp is finally drained. Unfortunately for him and his passionate supporters, there are still a very large number of professional politicians who continue to act like angry teenagers. But a Missouri state senator named Maria Chappelle Nadal just went so far over the line that her reputation and career simply won't survive. In a heated back and forth on Chappelle Nadal's personal Facebook page, the senator loudly and proudly called for the assassination of President Trump. To make matters worse, the discussion was with a far-left-wing activist who claimed to have a cousin in the Secret Service. Chappelle Nadal tried desperately to delete the threat before it spread, but she soon got smacked with the worst possible news. Not only had the comment been noticed, but it had been picked up by the local St. Louis TV station KMOX. The state senator wasn't expecting to wake up with her career in serious jeopardy, and the fact that she failed to cover her tracks made the confrontation far more shocking. But as expected, the guilty Democrat wouldn't acknowledge her offense, simply stating she made a comment online. I put something up on my personal Facebook page and it has now been deleted, she said. This response says nothing about a blatant and impassioned call for the death of our president and Chappelle Nadal must think that something this serious will just go away. It is our job to make sure this woman is held accountable. There is no excuse for any violence, especially when it's directed at the leaders of our beloved nation. Share this now so Chappelle Nadal gets what she deserves. Let's show President Trump we stand with him against anyone. Sources, DailyCaller.com